Welcome back, beautiful cookie-loving people of the internet, to the Isle of Burke. Last time we left off, we were able to defeat a trapper ship, and in today's episode, we're gonna be finding out what pet dragon is trapped inside. If you guys think I should tame it, go ahead and destroy the like button with your eyebrow. I know I've said that one before, but trust me, it's really difficult. If you're able to do it, I'll give you a cookie. D uh somehow. Hey, Bessie, if everybody leaves a like, you gotta give them cookies. Okay, cool, bye. Let's see what it is, ladies and gentlemen. I'm actually, I'm recording this right after the last episode. I could not wait, so in the next episode, I will be picking out name suggestions for our Light Fury, and also this new dragon. Oh, <laughs> yo, wait a second. This thing looks deadly. For whatever reason, like, its name is, it's on the tip of my tongue, but I can't remember it. Okay, 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 okay. It looks like it's a little bit scared of me. Um, if I had to guess, this is probably a meat-eating dragon. Just by the way, it looks and moves, and it just seems like it'll probably eat me if I don't feed it meat first. So we're gonna go ahead and try. No? Wait a second. Okay, so it, it it's not a meat-eating dragon. It's a little bit confusing. What, what about fish? Do you like fish? Or oh, likes fish? It def okay, did, wait, does it like fish? Did, wait, did it work? Oh my gosh, it took one fish to try to tame it. Oh, it does not like it, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, okay, good. It's, it's trying to throw me off, but I think we got this. Just be my friend. Thank you. It is now my friend. We got it, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, now we need to get it back to the Great Hall so I can see exactly what type of dragon it is. This is the most beautiful dragon I have ever seen. It almost looks like it's wearing a mask. But before we do head out, I want to make sure that I collect everything from here. So we're going to go ahead and steal all of the Gronkle iron that this place has. We're going to bleed them dry, ladies and gentlemen. That's what they get for trying to trap all of my beautiful dragons. It looks like they have some, some extra Gronkle iron. They had an extra two. Let's see what sort of attack this dude has. Whoa! It's like a vortex of flames. That is cool, ladies and gentlemen. And by the health, it looks like it's around the same power level as the monstrous nightmare, aka Fire Nut. All right, let's go ahead and fly back on the Light Fury, which is the fastest and strongest dragon that I have by far. I don't know if you guys missed out on the last episode when we attacked the trapper ship, but our Light Fury, it just destroyed them all. It was like a mega death. Every time I shot a fireball, like 16 people died. Let's go under the Great Hall all the way back down here. What's up, fish legs? Okay, fish legs. Oh, it's a storm cutter. Let's go. That is amazing. Okay, let's get a uh, fish legs to acknowledge that I have tamed a light fury. Do you like my light fury? Do, do, are, are you gonna look at him? Because you're not really looking at him. So, um, uh, if you guys didn't know, I'm supposed to be bringing fish legs all of the different dragon species. That's why on the screen it says two out of seven dragon species tamed. But for whatever reason, he's not really acknowledging that uh, the light fury is one of those seven dragon species. So maybe it's not. But I know for a fact that the storm cutter is. So let's go try to find the storm cutter in its little tiny area. And then we can also get some more information about it. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my gosh, it gets a really big stable. Let's go get some information. So, no, wait, what? That's... That says monstrous nightmare. That's that's not a, that's a that's a storm cutter. All right, we're gonna have to flip a couple pages here. Storm cutter. Flying on four wings, storm cutters carve spirals in the sky. When aggravated, they can unleash their mighty blazing Taurus attack, causing devastating destruction. It's located on something called Volca's Mountain. Its diet is fish, and the attack is the blazing Taurus. That is sick. I need name suggestions from you guys. Be sure to leave tons of comments down below. It almost kind of appears to be a bat. Like, look, it, it kind of has like bat wings and it stands and, and kind of has like the face of a bat. It's the bat dragon. What is our light fury doing? It was just, it was jumping up and down like, like a weirdo. Before I venture out and try to find other dragons and explore new areas and maybe do another quest, I want to go back down to the dragon forge. We have so many dragon scales and gronkle iron that I should be able to craft a full set of monstrous nightmare armor. Let's see. So we can definitely get the helmet. We can definitely get the chest plate. We can definitely get the pants. And we can definitely get the boots. Thank you, little baby dragon. Oh. <laughs> Do it again. Do it again. I don't even need anything, but I'm, I'm gonna get something. Let's go. Let's, just, let's, let's get another helmet here so I can see him do the thing. Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> I don't know why, but it's so satisfying. All right, but we got to focus up, ladies and gentlemen. There's a lot to do. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to save that armor, but we're going to upgrade to the monstrous nightmare armor, which I think is equivalent to netherite armor. Now, in today's episode, I really wanted to go and explore this giant icicle land. I've never seen anything quite like it before, and I'm guessing there has to be something valuable around the area. Like, it doesn't make sense to have this really cool looking structure out in the middle of nowhere. So we're going to come over here willy nilly and look for some twerp 
corpse to blow up. Ooh, region found, Volca's Mountain. So this is where the storm cutters spawn. Let's go up to the top, ladies and gentlemen, and see if maybe there's, wait, wait, there is. I was gonna say, maybe there's something inside of this. We're gonna venture down. Whoa, wait, this is cool. Wait, are the dragons spawning? What is this guy? Oh, it's another little Gronkle. Wait, this is like an oasis for dragons. Look at that, we got a deadly natter over here too. And there's a storm cutter. This place is crazy. So it's like freezing from the outside, but then on the inside, it's super warm and it has grass growing everywhere. I don't know exactly what I need in order to get a deadly natter. So we should probably head back to figure it out. Looks like we also have a little, what, what, is this just like a camp? Can I blow it up? Oh, oh, okay. Probably shouldn't do that. Let's make sure we have our map out too while we're exploring so that we can actually map the area like we were told to do by Hiccup. Oh, by the way, guys, if you know of any secrets, let me know because I know a lot of you guys have probably already played through this map. So if there's anything that I should find, let me know in the comment section down below and then maybe leave a timestamp too of like the, the area and then you could sort of like describe where I need to go. Okay, so I went ahead and basically uncovered the entire top right section of the map. There's still four other areas to uncover, but I wanna go head back and see if there's any other quests for me to do. I think I found something interesting, ladies and gentlemen. So it looks like there's four cages here and it looks like each one is meant for a different dragon. Oh, and I found some people. We have Rough Nut and Tough Nut. We share a dragon. What makes you think you're a better rider than me? Our races are always neck and neck. Isn't that obvious? Do I need to spell it out? Well, I can't spell. Hey, look, it's the newbie. How about you shut my brother up by beating our score on the flight course? New mission, flight course challenger. Well, I mean, I guess I'll do it. So it looks like on the right side of the screen, they have all of the different high scores. Hiccup easily has just demolished them, probably because he has the fastest dragon, the Night Fury. Well, I have a Light Fury. So I'm thinking I could definitely beat Rough Nut and Tough Nut, but beating Hiccup might be a little bit of a challenge. All right, let's try this out, ladies and gentlemen, in three, two, one. Okay, here we go, 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 here we go. Do I need to fly through anything or do I just go? Okay, I'm just, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna follow, I'm gonna follow the arrows. Where am I going? Does anybody know where I go? Where do I go? Uh, I'm severely lost, ladies and gentlemen. Nobody told me where to go or what to do or like how to think or what do I, where am I supposed to go? Can I start over? Oh, I have to fly through these things. Okay, okay, okay. Just a little bit of a rough start, but that's okay. Okay, so we're looking for these things in the sky. If I somehow still beat all of their high scores, then they owe me tons and tons of cookies. There we go, there we go. Okay, we got, we got, hang on, hang on, hang on, lefty. Do I go through here? I don't know where to go and nobody's telling me things. Do I have to go through here? Is this, okay, yeah, I do, I do, I do. Okay, somebody probably should have explained this to me. I'm little, I'm stuck. Why am I getting stuck? Oh my gosh, okay, this is a little more difficult than I thought it'd be. There we go, there we go, there we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, so we've already lost a hiccup. That's that's okay. I'm not I'm not really super worried about that. I also had no idea where to go for like half of this. Okay, do I go down? Okay, no, I gotta go through here next. And then I hang a lefty. And then we go through the mountains. Come on, turn light fury. Yes, okay, okay. There we go. And another one. And we gotta dash through here. Where do I do I do I dive? Oh wait, no, I go I go over to, okay to the right. So I'm kind of like hugging around the mountain. And then now do I dive? Oh no, okay, okay. Dude, these things are a little bit difficult to see. This is my first one, ladies and gentlemen. Do not worry, I'm trying this again and I'm gonna make sure that I win. Okay, so we gotta go down here just a little bit. There we go. And then we gotta go like really far down. So we might as well dive. Oh my gosh, we're doing terribly. Okay, we gotta go under the bridge and then we gotta finish it off by coming up here. Is that it? Okay, I mean, that wasn't terrible, right? I got fourth place out of everybody. So I did not beat Rough Nut and Tough Nut, which honestly, I don't think I can live with myself if I can't beat them. Light Fury, we're doing this again. Three, two, one, go. There we go. Great start. Ladies and gentlemen, fantastic start here. I still haven't figured out if it's better to fly in first person or third person, but we're gonna try it in first person. Okay, so I know now I gotta go through here. This is where it gets a little bit difficult because I get stuck on the ceilings. And I don't wanna accidentally land as well because then you kind of get caught on the floor and it's really difficult, but you kind of gotta do it too. Okay, there we go, there we go. Okay, down, down, and then up. Okay, now we gotta go up and around to the mountain. Get it, get it, yes, okay, nailed it. Come on, up, 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 up. Come on, life here. Okay, now we gotta go through this little mountain region. There we go, we did it. I think we just passed a Gronkle. Okay, now we gotta go through the mountains. Left, and then we hang uh, right up here, right again. Dude, how are you supposed to do this in 60 seconds? That is unreal. That might be actually impossible. Okay, guys, okay, so we go down here, and then I think we gotta dive down here. D no, we don't dive, we don't dive. I, I forgot where to go. This is hard. I think I could still be Rough Nut and Tough Nut. Come on, Jack, focus, focus, focus. I, I, have, I have 30 seconds left, and now we gotta dive down, right? There it is, and then we go this way. Okay, as long as I get the diving feature under wraps, and I could kind of just do that over and over again, then we should be able to complete this super quickly next time. Okay, around, and then up. Come on, flap your wings, flap your wings. Yes! Okay, I'm in second. I'll take it. Wow, you beat our score. You cheated. Well, anyone who pulls the wool over, our eyes has earned my respect. Here, take this rough and tough knot token. I found it on the ground over there. 
We did it! Flight course challenger complete! Did you beat Hiccup's time? Either way, take the token to the Great Hall and place it on display. I feel like I've been challenged to take out Hiccup's time. I mean, don't get me wrong, ladies and gentlemen, he is the original chief and master of all things dragons related, but at the same time, I think I can do it. We already got the token, but my competitive nature is starting to come out and we just need to shave off, uh, like, you know, to, to just 28 seconds. It's not that difficult, right? Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Three, two, one, start. Take off. Okay. We literally cannot mess up here, ladies and gentlemen. I have to basically memorize where all of these different rings are spawning in. Okay. This is where I can't mess up here. We're going to, we got to go directly down. We got to kind of stay down and we got to go right up. Take off. No, take off, take off, take off. I thought I, no, I thought I was on the ground and then I didn't take off. And then now we're stuck. I think we can still do it though, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, take off. We literally have only 30 seconds left. At least I know I can shave off some time by not messing up on the indoor section. The indoor section is really difficult. Also, if you guys have your own high scores, please comment them down below. If any of you guys have gotten below 60 seconds, that is impressive and I need to know about it. Actually doing decently well this time though. Okay, I completely missed a turn. Never mind. I take back everything and anything that I just said. Okay, we were able to shave a good amount of time off our, uh, off our last run, but still, it's, uh, yeah, we're not not really close to hiccup like at all come on come on come on go this is gonna be a flawless run here ladies and gentlemen we're doing pretty good here okay i shaved off like eight seconds there we got we gotta get up we gotta get up okay i got it so you don't necessarily have to go like through the rings you kind of just have to touch the ring which is super helpful there we go come on right come on come on come on we're making a great time yes we got the boost no i missed one that's killing me no no <laughs> So I'm not sure if you guys knew this, but when you go straight in a line for like a long period of time, you kind of get like this extra boost, which really, really helps you. But it also makes it really difficult to control your dragon. We're so close. No, come on. I can't believe it. That's, that's like, that's really hard. We were three seconds away. Rough nut, tough nut. I'm sorry. I'm breaking the record. I'm actually not sorry at all because this is like my seventh attempt. 62, come on. <sighs> Okie dokie. <laughs> that one hurt. That one hurt. I got 61. All right. Did I get it? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Everybody. Joy! Yes. Yes. Let's go. By one second, we did it. <sighs> All right. All right. It only took 12 tries, <laughs> but we managed to beat Hiccup. Before I forget about it, let's go ahead and put the rough and tough nut token in its totem. Is it this one? No. Is it this one? No. This one? No. Not that one. It's the last one that I checked. Rough and tough. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to wrap it up for today's episode. Be sure to go ahead and comment down below name suggestions for our brand new Stormcutter Dragon. Also, in the next episode, I will definitely be picking a name for our brand new Light Fury as well. It is just so cute. That is going to wrap it up, though. I hope you guys did enjoy. Smash like if you did. Hit that subscribe button and also check out the merch beckbrojack.co in the description down below. My name is Beckbrojack, the Chief of Dragons. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, dudes.